A local animal shelter is stepping up to help after law enforcement evacuated and rescued more than 170 dogs from a property in Putnam County in North Florida. A dozen of those dogs are now safe in West Palm Beach, where they will wait for a fresh start at Peggy Adams Animal Rescue League. As our Taylor Hernandez reports, finding forever homes for these dogs is a statewide effort. Hours before the sun rose, the staff at Peggy Adams was up and at them, headed for Palatka, Florida, where more than 170 dogs were seized from a single property. To my knowledge, they were living outside in somebody's property. My thought is that they were intact and just breeding with each other on this property. Dr. Alyssa Comro oversees veterinary care at Peggy Adams. The rescue pulls more than a thousand animals annually from overwhelmed municipal shelters and lends a hand for cases like this. Because of the facility we have and the team we have, we are able to provide that medical care, that spay neuter, um, whatever those dogs need to get them healthy. The effort to save these dogs came together in a matter of hours with several rescue groups from across the state. There was a phone call or a Zoom call with uh, all the, the different groups at 3 p.m. And then we had a team deployed by 3.30 a.m. this morning to be up there by 8 a.m. Shelter staff is pulling in with the dogs right now. And as soon as they are off the van, they're going to be going to see veterinarians before they get all settled in. Hi, little one. You're going to be just fine. Because they are all small breed dogs, we do expect that there's going to be dental disease. Some of the other organizations that have pulled dogs already have told us that a lot of them are geriatric. A lot of them do have significant medical needs. The shelter is holding an adoption event all weekend long. They hope by waiving adoption fees for all adult pit bulls that will help them free up some space for these new additions. We have all that information in this story on our website. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Taylor Hernandez, WPBF 25 News.